um, okay, pen, well, you know. There we are. Jay Baba. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're happy to be here today and have the opportunity to sing songs that either are for Mara or that we would love to sing for Mara. So I'm going to um, turn it over to Angeli. Angela. Okay. Okay, Jay Baba. Yeah, Jay Baba Mara. So hopefully nobody else is doing this song. <laughs> a Cindy Lowe song, so... Sharing his life, she lit up the path in 
the dark of the night. She was the chosen beloved one. She was the wondrous moon reflecting the glorious sun. Together The sun lit the day, the moon lit the night, as she reflected his light. She was the heart of his infinite plan. She wore the rings on her beautiful hand. The ocean of love spilled over the dam, so roses could bloom in the sand. sharing his light. She lit up the path in the dark of the night. She was the chosen beloved one. She was the wondrous moon reflecting the glorious sun. Tonight there will be another full moon. Tomorrow her roses will be in full bloom. The song of their love is a heavenly tune, a gift, a blessing, and a boon. To be his beloved, her God-given role, the sweetest love story that's ever been told. To please her beloved, the only goal of the one with the moon in her soul. She was the moon sharing his light. She lit up the path in the dark of the night. She was the chosen beloved one. She was the wondrous moon reflecting the glorious sun. Reflecting the glorious sun. <laughs> Jay Baba, little rough start, but we got it. <laughs> All right. And this is a song I wrote last June. Listen to the water, listen to the wind. The leaves that rustle on trees that bend, do you hear the love? I am the silence in your heart, you're forgiven, we play our parts. Do you feel the
<laughs> Jay Bob, everyone. Thanks for listening. Great song, Angela. Beautiful, beautiful picks. Thank you. You did a great job on the Cindy Lowe song. I thought. All right. Well, Miss Pam, do you want to? I don't know if you can get rid of that cat, but do you want to sing? Come on, kitty. Hi, sweet child. As soon as I get the guitar, he'll run away. So. Oh, I see. See what I mean? <laughs> it works like magic every time. Why, he's afraid of the guitar? <laughs> he hurts his ears. It's funny. My other cat doesn't run away, but Jocko... He, he gets real amorous and then you get the guitar and he's like, oh, oh no, run. <laughs> I was going to do this song I wrote in um, 2009 for Mara. And it was, Bob gave me this song just in time for her 20th anniversary of going to Baba. It was called Mara's Song. the right heart. The wrong capo, that's what it was. Okay, sorry about that, guys.
Wow, with this music, wow. Thank you, Baba. As um, Bob Ross would say, there are no uh, accidents, there's just happy accidents. So actually that's a better key for me to sing the song in. So now I'll keep going on the fourth fret from now on. So there. This next one, um, my friend Goer Mobed, the daughter of Minu Karas, sent me um, some words, uh, a Rumi poem this week and said she wanted me to put it to music. So Baba gave me a melody for it. It's called Unfolding the Rose. It's only a tiny rosebud, a flower of God's design. But I can't unfold the petals with these human hands of mine. The secret of unfolding rosebuds is unknown to one such as I. God opens them ever so sweetly when in my hands they fade and die. If I can't unfold a rosebud, this flower of God's design, then how can I have the wisdom to unfold this life of mine? So I'll trust him for his leading each moment of every day. I'll look to him for his guidance every step along the way. The path that lies before me, only my father knows. I'll trust him to unfold the moments just as he unfolds the rose. It's only a tiny rosebud, a flower of God's design, but I can't unfold the petals with these human hands of mine. Oh, wow. Wow, but I have to say something here. Because Mera couldn't fall roses. When she used to put them on Baba's bed, she used to open up. She used to, if they were closed, she used to open them up. And she used to design them before she put them. So it gives me the shivers. So it's well. So you're saying she was able to unfold the roses? Yes, she was. She was. Um, she was especially magical so she was a new magical um, musician and singer oh thank you sweetie. unfolding the notes yeah and um this one um called let me be with you i wrote uh, this past december regarding um i and a lot of other people believe that Mara is the same soul that comes back with the avatar again and again. Um, you know, she was Sita, she was uh, Ram, Radha, and 
all the different ones that were the avatars. Uh, female counterpoint. That's just a theory. And um, some people say it's true and some don't. So whatever you, uh, side you're on, it doesn't matter because it's just a, uh, a theory at this point. The Lord and the Lady eons ago shared a sweet love so divine. He was the first soul, she was his bride. Their love was so pure and so fine. Priceless in worth, he asked her if she'd like to realize God, and this was the answer she brought. She said, Let me be with you again and again. I don't want our beautiful romance to end. Let me be with you life after life may i be your forever one Three songs, just gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Baba. Beautiful. I'll just put this up and then uh, let's see one second. A little share in between. That's beautiful, Rosie. Okay, Baba. And we see Eva and Fred. 
Have you got something? Our dynam dynamic duo. He he doesn't uh, really know any Meher songs, but he could well, just. What, what he sang today in Arti? That's a good song. That's a good Babbit song. Okay. He went to get his guitar. Bye. Pam, thank you, honey, once again. Meanwhile, the dogs will solo. <laughs> the love dogs are always singing at her house. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. Uh... Yeah, what did I say here? There were bells on a hill, but I never heard them ringing. No, I never heard them at all, till there was Baba. There were bells all around, but I never saw them ringing. No, I never saw them at all, till there was Baba. And there was music And sweet what the roses They sing to me in sweet Fragrant meadows of dawn and dew There was love everywhere But I never heard it singing No, I never heard it at all Till there was Baba and there was music and sweet one the roses They sing to me in sweet fragrant meadows of dawn and dew There was love everywhere But I never heard it singing No, I never heard it at all No, I never heard it at all Till then <laughs> wow, so yeah, much Baba. gusto. I want to pull out the maracas. <laughs> oh, the way you do it is so great. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah, you got another? Oh, sure. I can pull something out here. Let's see. Do you want to hear the, the Baba birthday uh, song? Let's see what I got here. Yeah, Actually, should I, or should I do a comedy song? I did the birthday. Oh, well, also, this is actually I just wrote this song uh, about a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Eva's cousin. Another, another one. Ah, it's, it's, <laughs> okay. Eva's cousin passed away, and uh, I had worked with him as a chef at one point, and then he became a dog trainer. And uh, his dog training company was called Lucky Dog. And so I named the song Lucky Dog, and he was also a Led Zeppelin fan, so I threw in some uh, few little Led Zeppelin uh, references in here, so if you catch those, you're there. It might be a little depressing, but it's upbeat at the same time, so <laughs> let's see what I can do. Sitting, staying, running, playing, building in the dirt, laughing, petting, walking, setting, nothing seems to hurt. Who's a lucky dog to know you all of these years? Sitting in the window, hoping soon you'll be here. Black dog, white dog, all your friends, stay true to the very end. Is such a lucky dog. Eyes that shine all burning red While dreams of you shine to my head Lucky, lucky dog Such a lucky dog Hands for cooking, hands for guiding Hands for giving praise Last time that I saw those hands They gave a final wave Mickey Mouse and the butcher's hat too 
The brand new house is empty without you. Jack and Josie must love their reunion, running free without a wagon. Such a lucky dog! There's an angel on my shoulder. Will you heed the master's call? Such a lucky dog! Such a lucky dog! Walking, winding, shadows seeming taller than our soul. And still guiding up the stairway with a sword of gold. You're whispering on the wind, cause a lucky dog home. And if we listen hard, we know we're never alone. definitely went up to heaven and <laughs> it's so befitting for Mara to hear that to have him hear Mara hear that and both Baba and Mara love dogs oh, so yes. they especially love dogs and they knew how to train them both and so it's fitting always <laughs> thank you and there is there is a line in there that it, it was sort of a nod to Baba uh, there's a line from one of the Led Zeppelin songs I threw in there, Will You Heed the Master's Call? And we're talking about, you didn't say which master, did I? <laughs> the master. The yeah. master. The. <laughs> he has many names. <laughs> a beer poem called Lucky One. So every time you sing that, I think there's that Kabir line about how we're the lucky ones. Yep. <laughs> it's true. Lucky dogs. Thank you, dear. Thank, Thank you. you. Great song. Great song. Thank you. Hey, Baba. And Michal, do you have a, a tune? You want to sing? Yeah. It? So yeah, good. So <clears throat> what happened was I opened <laughs> this past two weeks or even a month. I've been opening up the same songs every time, just randomly and opening up the same songs about Mera. So I did the same. And no, this time it opened up on Baba. So I said, no, I'm supposed to find the Mara songs. So I looked for the Mara songs. And then I said, no, Mara wants me to sing a song of Baba first. She always wanted me to sing a song of Baba. When, when I used to go to the Samadhi, I used to love doing the RT at her window, her and Baba's window. So if I'd come to her first and bow down to her, she said, no, no, you first go to Baba and bow down to him. Then you come to me and bow down to me. So the same thing she did with this song. She wants me to sing to Baba first and then sing about her. Oh, Baba Tao, Mel, Baba and dear Mera. And um, Pam, I really agree with that. I can't, you know, I can't see them any other way, coming both of them together. And uh, yeah, me too, I don't want of realization I want to be with Baba who wants to leave that kind of a relationship yeah crazy no <laughs> so this is uh, music by Na uh, from Nature Boy by Eden Abbas so who was one of the first EPs in the 50s over the town male Baba and dear Mara as a boy a very deep enchanted boy when passing Baba Chan from school, as she called, you went straight to her. She held your face and kissed you there. And all the veils dropped and vanished into none. And later on, who passed me through a stone at you. And you came down through all the plains from the light into shadows pain and called us all to come to you to wake us up from the shadows deep. 
And then one day, one magic day, you came my way. And as we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this you said to me. The greatest thing in all the world is just to love and be loved in return. The days have passed and now we are here at last. You brought us to your there I need to be near, oh, so near your love, to sing your song, to dance your dance, to please your heart, and to love you still yet more. Mehilba, ancient one, beloved friend, you brought us to your Dharma dear, to be near, oh, so near your love, to sing your song, to dance your dance, to please your heart, and to love you still yet more. And then one day, one magic day, you came my way. And as we spoke of many things, fools and kings, this you said to me, the greatest thing in all the world is just to love and be love in return. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Uh, that was um, lyrics written for Beloved's birthday. That's a beautiful and version of Nature Boy. Um, I used to do that song in my jazz act, and I love it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wonderful. It's just so um, entrancing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So this is another one. All right, one minute. So then I opened in this one. Where are you? Yeah. So this was written for Baba's birthday. This was written for Mara's birthday. But I will sing it uh, the part without her birthday part because it's not her birthday yet. Though when she goes to Baba, that's her real, <laughs> her real joy, <laughs> her real, real joy. But to us, it is her birthday when she was born here that we got to know her. So, dear Mera. <laughs> Ahabato, Anna is real and leho, a baba od be od. Me abate no nishmatapo, Ahabato, Anna is real and leho, a baba od be od. Yafa fat silly, Snoa ve adina, Colpuleha vailohi. Lemehilba. the apple of his eyes, Baba's very breath, beloved's love. Please help us love Baba more and more and more. Mera, the apple of his eyes, Baba's very breath, beloved's love. Please help us love Baba more and more and more. You are beautiful and sublime, 
so humble and so gentle. You are pure divine love for me. You are beautiful and sublime. So humble and so gentle. You are pure divine love for me. The apple of his eyes, Baba's very breath, beloved's love. Please help us love Baba more and more and more and more and still yet more. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Mary. Hey, Baba. Thank you, Meher. Meher, now I'm calling you Meher. Sorry, Michal. That was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> We're all one, huh? Yeah, we are one in Baba and Mera. Uh, shall I sing another one or, sh or shall anyone else go first? Oh, you can go ahead if you have another one. Okay, so this is um, another one that I really, really love. And it comes from... Um, a music that uh, song that was sung on the hit parade of the Israeli uh, hit parade in 57, 1957. So I wonder where, oh, that was one year before Baba came back again to Myrtle Beach and a few years after the, he came with Mira. So um, this is that Mira was born on January 1907. She came to Baba when she was, four, she saw Baba first when she was 14 in 1922 and uh, no, in 14. And then later on, she came to Baba. She was a bit older then in 1922 and lived in the ashram. She was 62 in 1969 when Baba dropped his body. And so they were 48 years together in, um, in as a couple. And um, then 20 more years um, passed by before she dropped the body when she was 82. So in 1989. So this song, uh, it, it, the Israeli song in the hit parade was about this couple that goes into the orchard uh, in the evening together, loving each other so much, having the smells of the orchard and all that. So immediately I saw Mera and Baba in, in Mera's garden walking together. So here goes. Over the cloud, Mera Baba and dear Mera. Elev shel Shoshanim. Shoshanim is roses. Elev shel Shoshanim. Netsena el hagina, move samim vele achwadim, et meher umela otfim. Ere shel shoshanim, netsena el hagina, Move some very awkward him. It may hear who may not sing. Laila, you will learn. Kochavim veya veya holi. Laila zamir shal. Aetzim balatna yim. Mehe umera bid mahama. Bagi hina kosim. Evening of roses come, let's stroll in your garden. Fragrance and nectar filling the air, Baba and Hera stroll there. 
velvet night gently comes, as may here and there stroke up in the mares at sky above the stars and the moon aglow. Night and the nightingale sing. The trees gently sway and dance. Mail and Mera silently walk in Mera's garden side by side. Laila's a meal shell. I sing Balatna Mehumela Bihitmahama Bagi in a pussy Mehumela Bihitmahama Bagi in a pussy Thank you, Bayaba. Thank you, Mira. Thank you, all of you. Jay Baba. Jay Baba. Thank you, Michal. Each song was more beautiful than the last. Um, I've got a couple songs. This one is a song that um, was written by Moni when Mara passed and she sent it out to a number of musicians and they added melodies which is what she wanted to the glory of love sing oh sing to the glory of love let all hearts sing of love Sing of love to the glory of love to reflect, dear Mera, your supreme joy. We learn from the flowers and the trees and from garden who sing with every breeze wildflowers we saw like carpets unfold when your reunion gift poured down in emerald gown Oh, to the glory of love Sing, oh, sing to the glory of love Let all hearts sing of love Sing of love to the glory of love. Because love sublime was made complete. When he welcomed you to his word. of his name all around and the power of God is unfurled now we are out in the open 
open in the strong unshaded sun the wings of good fortune now protect us for the love of the beloved one today we celebrate your ecstasy born from separation's pain beloved and beloved now are one it's earth's immeasurable gain bless us sweet Mara that we may be with him every step of our remaining way in all that we do and say and think may remember him night and day to the glory of love sing oh sing to the glory of love let all hearts sing of love to the glory of love let all hearts sing happy birthday Mera, queen of a may her king queen of may her king gentle breeze of his mercy song of his silence pure beat of his universal heart help us to love him more help us to love him more evermore to the glory of love sing oh sing to the glory of love let all hearts sing of love sing of love to the glory of love sing of love All right, this song, let's see how in tune I am. <clears throat> in the chilly hours and minutes of uncertainty, I want to be in the warm hold of your loving mind to feel you all around me and take your hand along the sand oh, but I may as well try and catch the wind when sundown pales the sky i want to hide a while 
behind your smile and everywhere I'd look your eyes I'd find for me to love you now would be the sweetest thing would make me sing mm -hmm. but I may as well Try and catch the wind Dee da 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 So when rain has Hung the leaves with tears I want you near To kill my fears And help me To leave all my blues behind For standing in your heart Is where I want to be and I long to be mm -hmm. but I may as well try and catch the wind I may as well try and catch the wind I may as well try I may as well try catch the wind Oh, Lucy. Wow. So that That's I said, Sarah. That's a great one. Wow. Thank you. Now, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm going to try it anyway, because just give me one second. Maybe the last line should be changed. I will catch you, Daman. <laughs> yeah, I hold on to you, Daman. That's we all reassuring. That. We know that line, right? Who wrote that song, Ruthie? That's Donovan. Oh, what? Donovan. Yeah, I just had a birthday, I think, yesterday, I saw. Donovan Leach. Look Donovan at those quail Leech. eggs, Ralph. Somebody sings his songs. That's really a mystical song. Yeah, I sang that for Mara. Oh. So I thought I'd Didn't sing it you? today. That was so beautiful. Thank wow. You. Let us bind him to us. It is the age when the seeker can become the sought. Let us bind him to us. His nature is he dare not, care not. Endless thoughts will assail us. But let them come and go. <clears throat> he is the life raft on the river. Listen only to what the heart can know. The song in every breath Allah Krishna Ahura Mazda Abba Buddha Christ Rama Meher The Lord is love And the heart 
holds the key to the mystery. Oh, may hair find me there. All your gifts and weaknesses, they will own your head. Shape them into a garland and make them his instead. His name, the song on every breath. Allah, Krishna, Ahura Mazda, Abba, Buddha, Christ, Rama, Meher, the Lord. And the heart holds the key to the mystery. Oh, may hair find me there. In this new life, A voice of the heart and be deaf to the promptings of the mind. Make his name the song in every breath. Allah, Buddha, Mahura Mazda, Abba, Buddha, Christ, Rama, Meher. The Lord is love, and the heart holds the key to the mystery. Oh, may hair find me there. Very well. Who wrote that? <clears throat> ah, that's Buzz Connor. Wow, that's a strong one. Wow. I know he has. A, he's rearranged it and made it so incredibly beautiful. And I just have the old arrangement, but I don't care. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know. Che Baba. Rosalie, I see a hand up. Che Baba. Che Baba. Um, I didn't know this was happening actually today, but uh, because I was on the UK uh, with the mystical messages. So then when I get up, I thought, I'm going to check see what's happening. So Mara, my favorite person ever, ever. Uh, I have so many memories. It's not memories. It's so much experience of being with her. And um, I, but I do recall one thing because every time I went to India, I would be there for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Even if I came in September, Baba wrangled in and I would be there for her birthday, which I loved. And it was just, yeah, special. Uh, in 1988, the year before she went to Baba, um, she said, um, well, first of all, 
they were getting ready for our martinis, so they were putting, or they put a pond all up to protect us to celebrate Mara's birthday. And she did say at that time, this is the last time I'm celebrating my birthday. Nothing more was said. That's all she said. And of course, by May, she was United Group Baba. So, um, but the pandal caught on fire by elect an electrical wire and burned off. And I, and I remember uh, Mani, uh, Baba's sister, saying, uh, "Mero is like the ballast. She keeps the big wheel from going too fast." And uh, actually, even day to day, they couldn't keep her on time to things. You know, she was, you might almost, I'd say she was lost in Baba. It was her total focus. So uh, to keep on time was, they, they had to keep her on time. Um, I remember meeting Mara. Uh, she had come for darshan at the Baba Samadhi. It was September 7th. And Mara never went anywhere alone. She was always to have someone with her. Even if she went to the bathroom, someone was to stand outside. She followed very strict orders. But I remember her. I was inside the Samadhi with four other people from Los Angeles uh, on pilgrimage and she slipped out of her shoes and then she made her way and as she walked towards the inside, inside of the Samadhi, she was so inward there with Baba that I didn't see how she was making her body function to walk. That was a very strong feeling and I do believe that was the very first that I met her and I felt Baba wanted me to know who she was and that she was just with Baba. You know, <laughs> there was no doubt. And then when I met her on the porch, it was, you know, it was a little more casual, but Baba certainly told me right first off how it was. And, um, as I remember, any time she was available on the porch, I would leave whatever was happening. And sometimes it was, uh, you know, like on Sundays, money and Eric and Eric almost had the like a cosmic ping pong game back and forth, and it was absolutely delightful sitting there and hearing what they were saying about the life with Baba. But when they said Mara is on the porch, it, I was just gone. And the beautiful thing was, there was not a tinge of, oh, but how can you live now? Nothing. It was, it was like they were happy to see you go and see Mara. Like going to see Baba. And um, there, there is a beautiful thing I wanted to share that Actually, Francis Brabazon wrote, where did I put it? Uh, when, when Baba passed away, Mira's reaction. Because you see, no one could console Mira. Absolutely no one. Um, oh, here it is. I think it's so beautiful. He said, when Mira, the most beloved, of the beloved came into the room and cried to him to come back. It was a cry of all distances and hollow places. And the men stared at a familiar horizon receding into infinity. But their beloved Baba was not dead. He had inexplicably withdrawn himself for a moment. And that moment was too long to bear. For 47 years, he had never been out of sight of one or another 24 hours a day. And now he had slipped away. Like an eel from one's hand. Like the stars 
at the approach of dawn. He was and then was not. He no longer was, but he was still there. I love that. And I want to say, I mean, I could, Mara's like life to me. She taught me how to sing in. Um, the grace, and and actually I would say the, the, the courage and the pain of her having to stay 20 years. Thank God, I, I'm grateful, I'm grateful for it. 20 years beyond Baba physically passing is beyond imagination for me to, I could, I can feel the pain. And I, I didn't come until uh, 1976, but she used to cry more visibly before she uh, she loved him I mean his body was totally deteriorating by the time he dropped the body but she she loved that body you know all all her life anyway I love Mara I celebrate and I'm grateful grateful just to hear her name and, and what it brings to me because Mara only wanted us to love Baba. And she, at, at Dar last Darshan, I was not there, but I heard she said something and I thought, that's Mara. She says, remember beloved Baba, don't forget him for a moment. He loves to be loved. Mara knew, J Baba. Jay Baba. Thank you, Rosalie. Beautiful. And I see Cliff. Cliff, you got a song. Hey, everybody. Hey. What up? How you doing? You and Mara, that what up? Yeah. This is not a Mara song. But um, I do tell people, did we talk about Mara the other day? Did I say that, Ruthie? Do you remember? I was talking about how when I first went to India, um, I took, you know, I came to Baba in the mid 70s, but didn't get to India for a, a long time. And it was like 2001 and Mara was gone, Erich was gone, um, Mani was gone. Um, I went in Mara's and Mani's room and I, uh, I touched Mara's bed. I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to touch her bed. Um, <clears throat> and they told me, oh, don't touch any of Mara's stuff for her bed or anything. So um, anyway, um, I feel my inner Baba that Mara is very alive in my experience of Baba and very available. And I probably, you probably all have met her. Um, I, um, you know, she's incredible and in anything you do that you're pleasing Baba, she takes a lot of delight and she lets you know that she's really happy about it. That's what I, that's how I feel about it. Anyway, I have a song. I wrote a bunch of songs recently, and I didn't, um, I don't really know them, so that could be a problem. Um, so, but this one I sort of know. And I, I was recording Cindy Lowe yesterday, and so she wanted me to play this for her, and I did, and she told me all these things I need to do to change it. <laughs> so I felt a little rattled, but I'm just gonna do it. Maybe one of the things, um, it's called A Choice, and um, it's about our inner world.
It's a choice how we feel. Look outside off the wheel. In our breaths is eternity. An opening to the sea. You're my choice. This box. It's all closed up. A window opens up. Take a look deep down. It's the ocean all around. You're my choice I choose love I choose Trust my day to you always. Never a break, always there, locked inside with loving care. You're my choice. You're my choice. You're my choice. Avatar Mehr Baba Ki Jai. Jai Baba. Beautiful. Indeed. I I don't know. I like it just as is, but that's just me. I So, so I did kid. change I did change uh from it's a choice to you're my choice because Cindy said it's easier to sing that. And like you guys would probably know that, but Yeah. I like I like the line uh I choose love. That's my favorite line. Yeah, the, that's the bridge, yeah. That's yeah. my favorite part. It's great. I mean, I have an idea for like a band kind of doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Anything else? You want to try one more on us? We're good. You on know it. what? I don't really have anything ready. I mean, so All right. I'm going to defer to somebody who knows what they're doing. Oh, Cliff, do that. Do that one of Cindy's. It, it's, it's, it, you do it so well. Oh, you mean oh. the one with the tabla? I don't know, but it's, you've done it a lot. All right. Cindy Lowe's song. I got to find it. Maybe somebody wants to go while I'm getting it yeah. together. All right. Well, Michal has her hand up, so. Okay, good. I'll come, I'll come back. All right. Thanks, please. Thank you. Jay Baba, wonderful. Just beautiful. Yeah, so I want to do two, two, two short ones. 
One is that um, I want to read something from uh, Judith Garbett's uh, Lives of Love about Mera. Um, and then sing one song. So, Mera always looked so nice. She was of medium height, had a neat figure, graceful hands, and small, slim feet. Her skin was fair, and she wore her dark, softly waving hair in a very simple style, which suited her. The length finished low on her neck and lightly caught back with a pin or two. Her eyes were beautiful, so alive and very expressive of all moods. For special occasions, she always wore bright saris, but her regular dress at Merazad was an ankle length skirt and fitted over blouse with sleeves to the elbow, usually made of attractive cotton fabrics in print and toning plain colors. Green, she once mentioned, was a favorite color, but she also looked sweet in varying shades of mauve, blues and pinks. Generally, she wore flat, easy to slip into footwear, some made of a dark red crushed velvet material, which went well with her long skins when she was in the house or on the porch. Mara walked quickly with lists and graceful movements, whether she was inside or outside, and one had to be alert to keep pace with her. When going from the main house to the Mandali Hall through the garden, she always used a small black cotton umbrella as protection from the sun. But at Marabad, when she was carrying garlands to offer to Baba in the Samadhi, one of the women one of the Western women residents walked close behind to hold, hold the umbrella over her. She has more, uh, more very well written and very gently written sketches of Mera and her life in two parts of this book, which is very beautiful. And she writes so gently and it gives such a picture of Mera. Uh, another thing that I just want to mention from Mera's book, the green book, Mera, uh, that I just read, we always see Baba when he's carried in a chair to Mandali Hall and he's carried by the men. And we always see uh, when um, Francis Brabazon or someone else is uh, holding Baba's hand or being on his side when Baba is walking. And why is that? Because the women were never filmed because they were in seclusion. So in Mara's book, she writes that just until 56, I think, or 57, no, more than that, 65, I think, uh, she was the one to walk Baba through uh, the terrace to Mandali Hall. And there, Erich and someone else would wait and she would go back and then they would come out and take Baba. So actually, she was the one to walk Baba and hold his hand after, in the morning after he finished his breakfast and getting dressed and everything. And after shaving and after her combing his hair and braiding it, then she would walk with him down the steps and slowly take him all the way to Mandali Hall to meet the men. And she would be with the Gohair. So Gohair was always the go-between. Mani and Gohair were the go-between. So they could see men, but Mara couldn't. So it was very beautiful just to think about it, that we don't know that that's what she did unless we read that book. And unless we read this, so it's so beautiful. So the song that I want to sing in her honor, in her seclusion, and the women's seclusion is um, the seven names of God. Ahuram Ahuram, ah, he is 
Hari Parama Chama Allah melody that is. Cliff, you ready? No, I'm not ready, so I'll do it. <laughs> All right, so, um, so Cindy wrote this song when she was living in New York. She wrote it a long time ago. She was living above a pizzeria 
to Pharaoh's Pizzeria. It's called, the song is called, All I Want Is All I Use. Uh, that was a joke. All right, very funny. Jay Baba. All right. Thank you, McCall. Jay Baba. Very, very deep. Jay Baba. simple thing till I saw your face and you became my one desire you clipped my wings you gave me grace now I follow you go where you take me to oh, all I want is all of you I love you through and through. I will stick like glue. All I want is all of you. Bye bye. When you gave a taste of bliss, a little sip of wine, I wanted more. I've waited for your sacred kiss ever since early times outside your door. Now I follow you, go where you take me to. All, all I want is all of you. I love you through and through. I will stick like glue. All I want is all of you. Bye bye. You gave me a golden moon, and all your brightest stars are in my sky. Now I'm asking for the sun to always shine on me and light my life. Now I follow you, go where you take me to. All, all I want is all of you. I'll love you through and through. I will stick like glue. All I want is all of you. Now I follow you, go where you take me to. All, all I want is all of you. I'll love you through and through. I will stick like glue. All I want is all of you. Bye-bye. So beautiful, Cliff. Thank you. Che Baba. Che Baba. And Pam, Rosalie wondered if you would mind singing the song about Baba's accident. And the porch song. It's so close to accident time. Yeah. Okay. Let me find it. Beautiful. And the, and the porch Thanks. song. Okay. Or any, any other song, <laughs> Mary, that you want. Uh -huh. 
I have to relinquish the host place here in about 10 minutes. I've got someone coming for lunch. Well, I'll just do when is an accident, not an accident. Right, that's it. Okay. All right. I don't fault any of your songs, mind you. <laughs> I love your songs, so. but it just, I like to hear that. The one I was actually going to do was at his window, which I got from a candy wrapper, a chocolate wrapper. And um, but since we don't have time, I'll save it for another time. <clears throat> have time um i think angela's actually the host so it'll it's fine X-rays of Mayra's injuries. He said it's nothing short of a miracle that she's alive now. It just has to be. Well, it happened out in Oklahoma. We traveled on the trail of tears. What sort of karma had been waiting there for all those years? When is an accident not an accident? When is an accident not an accident? When is an accident not an accident? 
Thank you. Yay, Baba. Thank you. Yay, Baba. I messed up the ending. That's all right. The rest of the song is okay. Didn't sound like that. Didn't sound like missing anything. And I dropped the mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so, why don't you sing a song that you wanted to sing? There's still time. No. No? I don't think it's Do you feel, really? Oh, well, it is. How do Uh, okay, um, this one is very touching to me. Um, it's called At His Window. And it was written by Frederick Locker Lampson in like the 18th century or something. And I saw it on a candy wrapper and I made it into a song. Beating hard, we come again Where my love reposes This is Mayer's windowsill These are Mayer's roses Is he nested? Does he sleep? In the twilight still leaves Lily clad from throat to heel, like a virgin lily. Soon the wan and wistful stars, fading will forsake him. Angels come on beamy bars, whisper then and wake him. Let my hopeful prayer plead at his flowery grating. If he hear me, will he heed? There I am waiting. There I'll be decked anon, dressed in bride's apparel. Blessed one, I hark to thee with passion shaken carol. Sing thy song, thou transit thrush. Pipe thy best, thy clearest. Hush his lattice, move so oh, hush. Dearest Mayor, dear. Beating heart, we come again where my love reposes. This is Mayer's window sill. These are Mayer's roses. This is Mayer's window sill. These are Mayer's roses. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, the, the, the poem it was about a woman named Mabel, and I turned it into Mayhair. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you. On a candy wrapper. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> Had to be a big candy wrapper. Mabel. That's my grandmother. Yeah, it's like a bar. So 
Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mera. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for this gathering, this singing for them and their love. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Rusi, and all. Bye. Hey, Baba, everyone. Hey, Baba. Hey, Mera. Hey, Baba.